Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about Pandora factor. So let us start. Thought for the session is, only you can change your life, no one else can do it for you. So, can I tell you that if you have made targets, you can accomplish it when you are able to pray for it. You can help others, you can help others, but you have to achieve the target. So you have to take up the responsibility and work accordingly. So next is objective of this video. So you will be able to explain about Bethel factor, abnormal molecular masses, degree of dissociation, association and numericals on Bethel factor. So, uh, मैं सबसे पहले ये टॉपिक स्टार्ट करने से पहले आपको ये बता दूं कि अगर चैप्टर नंबर टू सॉल्यूशंस में अगर मान लो पांच मार्क्स और छह मार्क्स का पेपर आता है तो आप मान के चलिए कि उसमें से 80 परसेंट कंपोनेंट जो है बैंडहो फैक्टर से होता है तो आपको ये बहुत सीरियसली करना चाहिए कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सोल्यूशन हमारे पास इलेक्ट्रोलाइट होते हैं नॉन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट होते हैं इलेक्ट्रोलाइट आर दबस्टांसिस विच गिवस आइंस आफ्टर डिजॉल्विंग इन वाटर But non-electrolyte which does not give ions, which does not conduct electricity when electricity is passed through that. If you are taking an NaCl solution and uh, water, you are uh, if water is there as a solvent. So what will happen? This it will convert into ions. Which ions? Sodium ions and chloride ions. So it means the number of ions would be double. So colligative property we know that it depends on the number of solute particles in the solution and not on the nature. And because numbers are doubled now, so colligative property also will be doubled. So that is the meaning of the electrolyte key, how electrolyte can affect the colligative properties. So now what is Van der factor? Van der factor is actual number of particles in solution after the association. If you are taking the case of NaCl, earlier if you say 1 mole of NaCl was there and it changes into 1 mole of Na plus and 1 mole of Cl active, it means the number of ions become doubled. And previously it was 1 mole of NaCl and now it is 1 mole of Na plus and 1 mole of Cl active, it means 2 moles. So 2 divided by 1, that is equal to the of factor is 2 for NaCl, it is the meaning. So for non-electrolyte because the, the molecules before dissociation and after dissociation will be same. Like for example case of urea, urea will exist as molecule, urea is not giving different ions. So it means non-electrolyte I is 1. Or for NaCl as I told you just now, it will be double. Two. And if you are taking the CaCl2, CaCl2 you know that it will give 3 ions, one, 1 ion of Ca2 plus and 2 ions of Cl negative. So total 3 ions will be given. So rent of factor that is simply if a molecule is 100% associated, I would be 1 for non electrolyte 2 for NaCl and 3 for CaCl2. If you are talking of let us say MgCl2, so it will be 3. Now dissociation. The association occurs when a substance is dissolved in water. Ions formation takes place. So similarly, NaCl will give two ions, and uh, sodium hydroxide also will give two ions. Hydrochloric acid will give two ions. Sulfuric acid will give three ions. H2SO4. Similarly, acetic acid will be giving two ions. But don't misinterpret in this acetic acid. Acetic acid can undergo hydrogen bonding. So it means acetic acid. Although we are saying that it is giving dissociation, but it undergo association also. So association due to hydrogen bonding will leads to joining of two molecules to form one molecule. That is dimer formation. So please uh, take in uh, keep in mind all these things. So colligative property of electrolytic solution. Now all the formulas which we have written earlier for elevation, boiling point, depression, freezing point, and osmotic pressure or relative lowering of vapor pressure all will be changing. What is the change? Is you will multiply by I. So all the formulas I will be multiplied. Delta D V is equal to I K B M. Delta D F is equal to K F M into I and pi is equal to I C R T. Now what is the difference between measured and calculated? Now just now we have discussed the NaCl is 2. So that was theoretically. But actually what is coming is 1.9. So it means we have we have thought that ki all the one mole of NaCl will give one mole of Na plus and one mole of Cl active it may not be one mole it may be 0.9 moles so that is the reason that it is measured and calculated is different if the dissociation is not 100% complete it means if you are taking 100 molecule of NaCl 
if you are not getting 100 molecule of Na plus and 100 molecule of Cl active, so it means that is not 100% dissociated. It is partially dissociated or it is less than 100% dissociated. So in that case, I would be less than the calculated value or theoretical value. Okay. So now, so now see that what is happening is FeCl3. For example, we know theoretically FeCl3 will give four ions. So I would be four. This is expected, but observed is 3.4. It means the dissociation is not 100% complete. Dissociation is how much complete? 3.4 divided by 4. This way you have to solve. So similarly, MgSO4, like we thought that it would be 2, but actually it is 1.3. So what would be the dissociation is 1.3 divided by 2. Similarly, MgCl2, 2.7 by 3, and ACL 1.9 by 2. So it means 95% dissociated. So in this manner, so we will discuss more about that then you will understand in a more better manner. So let us continue. Now just think of predict the Van der vector. I will give you just for a few seconds, just think of now in glucose this is a non electrolyte. So we have discussed that already in non electrolyte I would be one. And similarly NaCl, NaCl will give two ions, so I will be two. AlCl3 will give two type of ions, one is Al3 plus and three Cl active, so total will be I is equal to four. Similarly, methanol will not give any ions, so I will be one. Now, let us discuss some of the uh, numericals on the depression in phasing point when their I factor is concluded. Now, NaCl, CaCl2, urea, these are used to melt ice in any region, that is depression in phasing point. So, where which will be the best? So, best would be that where colligative property is best. Colligative property is maximum when when I is maximum, I for urea is 1, CaCl2 is 3, NaCl2 is 2. So, it means CaCl2 will be the best one. So, this is the meaning that the how we have to explain this type of questions. This is theoretical based question. We will do the very long. So, now boiling point change for non electrolyte. Non electrolyte, you just have to think that sometimes question is coming electrolyte, sometimes question is coming non electrolyte. You have to accordingly think and if it is non electrolyte, I would be one. So, now this is the question. Ethylene glycol means ethylene glycol and 62.1 gram is given and uh, molality is given 1 and 250 gram of water. What is the boiling point of solution? So, what formula delta dB is equal to kV into m? So, delta dB is equal to kV into m into i. So, we have to do what? We have to calculate molality. Molality will come out to be 4. So, how? By substituting this formula W2 by W1 M2 into 1000. So, this way we are getting the delta dv is equal to kv into m into i so dv and 100 plus so now you can understand that the boiling point increases earlier boiling point of water was 100 now it is a 102.0 so it means after addition of non volatile solute we are adding we are increasing the boiling point that is known as elevation in boiling point now next is depression freezing point now this is the question so here molality is given already previous question we have solved so what is the formula delta dv is equal to m into i and in this case also I would be what? I would be 1 because it is a ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol is a non-electrolyte, that is the reason. So similarly delta Tf we have calculated and we can calculate Tf by 0 minus of 7.4. Now you can see that earlier water was having freezing point of 0 degree Celsius. Now it is freezing at minus 7.44 degree Celsius. So therefore it is acting as anti-freezing. So ethylene glycol acts as anti-freezing. Now let us uh, take uh, take up. You can try yourself this question. So I we have taken two. Why we have taken two? Because we didn't know that ki how much percentage the association. We have taken hundred percent for that. So this is the freezing point of water. Earlier water is freezing at zero. Now it is freezing at minus twenty. That is the meaning of depression in freezing point. Now this question you can try yourself. More the number of questions you will try yourself, more will be the uh, you will be empowered with the knowledge to how to solve these miracles and you will be having more confidence. So here these two questions are there boiling point, calculation and freezing point. Delta T is equal to KV into M into I, delta T F is equal to K F into M into I. So you have to calculate M. M is very easy, that's M is formula is W2 by M2 
1000 by W1. This is the formula by using, we can solve it. It's uh, easy to solve only, not much difficult. Now, next is, now always whenever you are doing the question, you just see that whether it's electrolyte or non-electrolyte. Now, here in this case, unknown student is there. We don't know whether it's electrolyte or non-electrolyte. They ask for molar mass. You need not to do anything. You just keep on doing the I is equal to 1, you can substitute. If nothing is given. So, here also we are using I is equal to 1, not Okay. Now, now the next part of the topic is abnormal molecular mass. So, for example, we uh, we have done certain questions there. We are getting in the biggest question also. We have found the molecular mass. For example, this molecular mass that is calculated uh, by the formula substitution, it is different than experimental calculation. So, for example, sometimes we are calculating like uh, okay, sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is uh, sodium twenty three and chlorine thirty five point five and chlorine twenty eight point five. But actually, what is coming in by this calculations and all that is different. It is experimental is different than the theoretical. So that means that is abnormal molecular mass. Okay. So it means when the experimental determined molecular mass of a substance on the basis of colligative property is different from the normal values expected from the chemical formula. So this is known as abnormal molecular mass. Observed molecular mass is referred to as abnormal molecular mass. Quantitative the extent to which a solute is dissociated or associated. So it means abnormal molecular mass depends on what? It depends on the Venter factor. And Venter factor depends on what? Whether it depends on dissociation or association. As you remember that I have told you already, NaCl gives Na plus and Cl activity. Similarly, if you are talking of hastic acid, hastic acid, two molecules of hastic acid can combine to form dimer. So that is association. Similarly, if you are taking benzoic acid, two molecules of benzoic acid form to form one. Let us take the case of polymer. So many monomers are combined to form one polymer. So this is known as association. Like you can take the example of uh, uh, our uh, uh, DNA. So DNA is a form from nucleic acids. So nucleic acid is a monomer. So number of nucleic acid molecule, molecules combined to form DNA. Similarly, uh, glucose and uh, su sucrose or carbohydrates. Glucose combined to form carbohydrates. This is the meaning. Now when how factor? I is equal to ratio of observed, ex observed or experimental. This is both the same. Qualitative property divided by calculated or normal. Calculated or normal are same. So it means to say that I is equal to experimental qualitative property divided by normal qualitative property or observed qualitative property or uh, calculated qualitative property. Calculated means theoretical. So you know that ki qualitative properties is inversely proportional to molecular mass. So it means the this formula will be reversed for the molecular mass. How? If we have discussed already the observed, observed value of qualitative property divided by calculated. So it will be calculated molecular mass divided by observed normal uh, molecular mass. So this way the numerical the I value will be changed for molecular mass because qualitative property is inversely proportional to molecular mass. Qualitative property is inversely proportional to molecular mass. So I is equal to if I is equal to 1 that is for non electrolyte for example urea, glucose, uh, polymer, all the polymers, uh, biomolecules, DNA, RNA, glucose, sucrose. So all these covalent compounds are basically I is equal to 1. I less than 1 in case of KC. Uh, sorry, I just written wrong. Here I should be greater than 1 here uh, for dissociation. This is okay, but for, uh, the examples are written wrong. Uh, I is greater than 1 for dissociation. Example is KCL. And I is less than 1. That is example is acetic acid. So please, uh, this you keep in mind. Okay. Now strong and weak electrolyte. Strong electrolyte exhibit 100% dissociation. Earlier we have discussed that. For weak electrolyte, there might be might not be 100% dissociation. Okay. So this case is uh, normally we have told you, but acetic acid always remember that any type of acetic acid question is coming that will be related with the dimerization. Whether that that will be related with the association. Okay. So this way, for example, hundreds molecules are there. Hundreds are not uh, only 999 is going. So Dissociation is 999 by 1000. So, this is the meaning how we can calculate alpha. So, similarly, here also it would be 20, 20 molecules are uh, dissociated 20 by 1000. So, strong or weak is a property of this substance. Now, degree of dissociation. Number of moles solute undergoing dissociation. So, if you want to calculate for previous, like an SCL, you want to calculate. So, what would be this 999 divided by 1000? So, see this way 999. Undergoing dissociation and divided by previously. So, in the case of acetic acid, previous problem 20 by uh, the 1000 will come, like 20 by 1000.
Okay, so alpha is equal to one for strong electrolyte or hundred percent. Alpha is less than one or less than hundred percent. So this is very very important formula. So you need to keep in mind that alpha and I relationship in case of dissociation and in case of association. Here it's written right. Acetic acid and benzoic acid. This will undergo dimerization. It will undergo association. Two molecules combine to form one molecule. Similarly, benzoic acid also two molecules combine to form one molecule. Now, for NaCl, it is I is equal to two. K2SO4 I is equal to three. So alpha is equal to I minus one. What is that? N is the number of ions formed. So here we can say I is equal to two and K2SO4 I is equal to three. So you can calculate dissociation constant. Sometimes problems are coming up of this. K is equal to C alpha square divided by one minus alpha. This you have done in the plus one also in the equilibrium two. Okay. So next is this for acetic acid also N is equal to two only, but the formula is changed. One minus I divided by one minus one by N. So now let us do some numerical problems on the basis of dissociation. So what is the problem? Dissociation is there now. CH two F earlier I was talking of CH three C H, but F when you enter, it will undergo dissociation only. Okay. So how to solve this? First we have to read the question. Nineteen point five gram of CH two F C O H is dissolved in uh, it's a fluoroacetic acid in five hundred gram of water. The pressure freezing point observed is one. So delta D F is given. Calculate the Van't Hoff factor. I you have to calculate and dissociation cost. This is one typical problem. So many questions can be covered. That's why we took this problem. Okay, so what is given is we have given solute. Solute is 19.5 and water is solvent. So that is W1. So you can calculate the molecular mass of CH2FCOH. This is very easy. It's not that difficult. Atomic masses of carbon, hydrogen, fluorine are given, and you can solve for fluoroacetic acid. So after solving that, you know that Kf is given to you, and the formula for delta D F is equal to Kf into M into I M formula. You know. After substituting, you will get the value of I as 1.075. It means it will undergo I is greater than one. So it means it will undergo dissociation. Now we don't want to find the I. We want to find K. So K is what K is equal to C alpha square divided by one. It means we need to know about alpha. Alpha is what alpha for dissociation formula is I minus one divided by N minus one. So as I told you that N is equal to two for fluoroacetic acid. Okay. So I minus one 1.075. After substituting, you will get the uh, to uh, 0.075. Here molarity was not given. If you see the question again, so here molarity is not given. So you have to calculate molarity. 19.5 divided by molecular mass multiplied by 1000 divided by volume. Volume is 500. You can take same as mass. So this way we have solved the molarity. And uh, that after substituting, K is equal to C alpha square divided by 1 minus alpha. If alpha is very 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 small, so we need not to put alpha. So in the denominator, 1 minus alpha will be equal to 1. So that's why so K is equal to two point eight as well. This was the most typical problem. Normally, these three questions are not coming in one. Either one or second part, maximum to maximum three mark question can be there. Next is there are numerical problems for practice. Just think of that how you can do. So now here read the question first of all. A dissociation normal solution of NaCl. Now this after reading the question you should be clear that ki what is the problem? NaCl is electrolyte and I factor will come into play here. Dissociation normal means one by ten. And the osmotic pressure is 4.6 atmosphere. Calculate degree of dissociation. Degree of dissociation is alpha. Okay. So now how to proceed is you know the osmotic pressure formula of I is equal to CRT. No, no, no. I is equal to I CRT. Okay. C is what? C is one by ten. And I is given 4.6. Temperature is given. R is given. So what you will get? I. I you will get. Now you know the relationship between alpha and I. So they want alpha. So alpha is equal to I minus one by ten and minus one. I think you can do it. You try yourself. After that, you can check the solution if required. Next is numerical problem. Uh, further, this is regarding to association. I was telling you continuously again and again that acetic acid in benzene it will not undergo dissociation. It will undergo association. So let us see how. So what is the question? Freezing point of solution is given to you, and mass of acetic acid that is solute that is also given, and mass of solvent 20 gram that is also given to you. Kf also given. You can find the molecular mass of uh, uh, acetic acid from this first of all. And now we have calculated alpha. So how to calculate is first you know that delta D F is equal to K F into M into I. So this uh, I we we can calculate because uh, delta D F is given and uh, I you can calculate in this manner K F into M into I and you can calculate I. I is coming 0.5. Now you can see that I is less than one. 0.5 to 7 is less than one. It means I is less than one means association takes place. This is very clear. And after applying the formula, you will get the answer. Alpha is equal to one minus I. 
1 minus i divided by 1 minus 1 by n, n is 2. So, I would like to repeat whatever we have covered. Uh, we have discussed about the colligative properties, uh, different formulas. Now, all the formulas will be multiplied by i. Okay, here is pi is equal to i c r t. Now, so i, if theoretically, if we want to know HCL is 2, 2, it will be 2. We are thinking that it is 100% associated. And as here it is 2, it is 100% associated. If it is not 100% associated, it is for example 90% associated. So, 90 into 2 is 1.8. So, that is the meaning. If I say that 60% associated, and I say is 60% associated, so that would be 1.2. So this is the meaning basically. Okay. Now alpha, alpha, alpha this you know already, and uh, alpha is equal to strong electrolyte is equal to 1, alpha is less than 1 for weak electrolyte. And this is a relation, very, very important relationship between alpha and I. This because all the problems, if you see this CF paper also, 2020 paper also, if you see the same questions they have asked from Van Hoff factor also. Okay, so next is assignment. So what is the assignment for you is the you need to revise the topic from the book and practice numerical form book assignment and board questions. Revise the formula by taking into account band factor. Very very important. So again, I would like to repeat the thought. Only you can change your life. No one can do it for you. Okay. So thank you very much to all of you.